you spoke about um, how digital is influencing the growth um, opportunity of e-commerce or, or what we now refer to as digital commerce um, and also how it's solving for customer adoption. So we spoke about a lot of the secular trends like um, much more of the population having access to mobile internet, uh, to smartphones, um, a lot of the, the new entries in the market and the new ways to pay such as Uber, Netflix, Amazon, all of these kind of new categories coming into the market creating a lot more sense of comfort uh, for consumers to be able to partake in digital commerce and then also the opportunity of digitizing cash, still very much a dominant way to pay in a lot of our African markets and what are the innovations that we've seen around digitizing the cash opportunity. So there's, there's a whole host of challenges. We still have consumers who are probably not feeling 100% secure to shop online. Um, there are still issues of uh, payment declines and so a lot of alternative payment solutions coming in. And so there's still a lot of clutter, uh, there's still a lot of choices and there's still a lot of friction in the process. And um, that, those are the things that we're having to address. We've seen a lot of innovation around that, but it's around um, really just looking at how do we create a friction process and make it as easy as just swipe with my finger and I'm done. It kind of addresses the whole ecosystem so I think from a, um, a banking perspective our banks are still often operating off older systems, legacy systems, whereas fintech are really a lot more nimble and able to innovate a lot more quickly and so there needs to be uh, a, a kind of a, a figuring out of how do we marry these, these opportunities. So there is an obstacle around how do the banks move a lot quicker and be a lot more innovative around how they're going to enable their consumers. Um, and if they don't do this, consumers will move to alternative ways to do things, alternative ways to engage in brands and services. Um, and, so, and so we really are placing a lot of effort in helping kind of the, the, the payments industry uh, innovate off probably a lot of history and a lot of legacy.